Hey, what's up? So today we're going to check out the latest firmware for the Samsung Galaxy S2 i9100. This time it's the XW LSJ firmware intended for the Nordic countries but of course can be flashed onto any international variant of the Samsung Galaxy S2. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to provide a quick guide on how to flash the firmware on the Galaxy S2. Please do take note that this is only for the international version and not for AT&T or Verizon or Sprint mobile phones in the US. This is for the i9100. And secondly, we're going to have a quick overview of the new firmware on the Samsung Galaxy S2. So stay tuned. Hello once again. So the first thing you have to do is to switch off your Galaxy S2. And once you power it off, we'll have to enter download mode. So as you can see, it's completely off. So let's put it into download mode simply by pressing the volume down, the home button and the power button all at the same time for five seconds or so and you're presented with the download screen. Connect it via your micro USB to your computer. Press volume up. Once it's, once it's in download mode, head over to Odin. I'm using Odin version 3.07. All the links will be in the video description below. So once you've done downloading the XWLSJ zip file, don't worry, the links will be provided in the video description below. Uh, you've got to extract that XWLSJ zip file onto your computer and you'll be presented with two files which is the xwlsj.tar file and the ssdl.dll ignore the ssdl that's not important what we need is the xwlsj.tar so open up odin and in this case i'm running odin 3.07 once it's open up look for click on pda and look for the folder where you extracted the zip file you'd recently downloaded and look for the i9100 xwlsg lsj blah 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 dot tar if you look over here it says dot tar dot md5 select that click open and this will take roughly about 10 seconds as it will check if the file has been corrupted during the download phase so i'll be back so we're back again, so it's finally loaded up and uh, MD, MD5 has finished successfully. So as you can see over here, it says COM5, that means there's a good connection between the Samsung Galaxy S2 and my laptop. So we click start and give it a few minutes for it to be downloaded and flashed. On the Samsung on your Samsung Galaxy S2, so I'll be back once it's fully flashed. So it finally booted up, and it seems to be stuck on the Samsung Galaxy boot up screen. If this ever happens to you, all you have to do is to remove the battery of the phone. Let's remove it. Oops, I'm trying to remove my case. And all I have to do is remove the battery from the phone, then access recovery mode so you move the battery and then to access recovery mode all you have to do is to, to press volume up the home button and the power button all at once for 10 seconds or so and the screen should flash twice yep so that means you're going to be accessing um, recovery mode any second All right, so once over here, um, choose wipe data factory reset, delete all user data. Sometimes this happens because you're coming, I just came from a custom room, so some most of the time these issues usually arise so once you download the wipe data factory reset choose wipe cache partition then reboot system now and this should most probably fix 
or should boot up after two to five minutes. So I'll be back once it's fully booted up. So we're back again. So if, if you get to this screen, it means that your Samsung Galaxy S2 has been successfully flash with the Nordic XWLSJ firmware. So you just click start. Now we'll choose United States. Click start. You can skip this. Let's skip that also. No, let's do that later on, not now. Next, next, done. So right now setting up. Nope, I don't want easy mode. And we should be presented with the home screen. Tada. So this is the XWLSJ firmware for the Samsung Galaxy S2 i9100. This is the latest uh, firmware from Samsung. Let's check out settings. About device, 4.1.2, Jelly Bean, all right. Baseband is XXLS8. And uh, build number is XWLSJ. So as you can see, it's got the same Touch UX interface or TouchWiz interface as the Samsung Galaxy S3 or the Samsung Galaxy Note 2. And um, that's basically about it. It's very fluid as you can see. If you've got any questions in flashing or if you've got any issues or problems that arise during the flashing progress, feel free to ask them below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to Wired Mash. Thanks, guys.